Almighty God, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find in it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God world without end. The Passover of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found those who were selling oxen and sheep and pigeons, and the money changers at their business. And making a whip of cords, he drove them all with the sheep and oxen out of the temple, and he poured out the coins of the money changers, and overturned their tables, and told those who sold pigeons, Take these things away. You shall not make my father's house a house of trade.
It was a business as usual in the temple that day. Animals were being bought for sacrifice. Money changers were at their business. Everything seemed as normal, perfectly normal. Nothing particularly unusual. Today's gospel, though, is much more than about animals and money changers in the temple. People can often get so caught up with that that they miss the real point that Jesus is making. Jesus knew about the animals and the money changers and the pigeons and the sacrifice. He grew up as a Jew. He knew about temple worship. Even his mother and Joseph bought animals to be sacrificed in the temple when they presented him at 40 days. So that's not the issue. The animals and the money changers, they'd always been there. It was how the system worked. It was business as usual. Jesus went up into the temple that day for one purpose, to throw out and to turn over business as usual. The Word has become flesh so that the temple might become human. Our keeping of Lent helps us to interrupt whatever business as usual might mean for us. Regardless of who we are, what we've done, or what we've left undone, or how we see ourselves or our life, we are the body of Christ the temple of the living God. And there is one who stands in that temple always, interrupting, disturbing. Let us listen to him. Pay particular attention this morning to the beautiful words of the hymn sung during the Holy Communion. I heard the voice of Jesus say, what is he saying to me and to you? And how are we responding?
O Lord, that the fruit of our union and communion with you in these holy mysteries may always remain and abound in us to the glory of your name and the salvation of our souls. O merciful God, support in our frailty, that we who commemorate the Holy Mother of God may by the help of her intercession arise from our iniquities. We ask this through Christ our Lord. <laughs> 